Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Ralph Michaels, and we are talking American Conference basketball. That's right. Cincinnati has dominated this conference, but Wichita State, the newbie coming in, and they're making their their uh, first year in the conference something to be recognized. Now, Wichita State, when I did my preseason guide, I had them as my number one team as far as power ratings go. They were moving to a new conference, but they had all five starters back. They were a team that can play defense. And now while they're 19 and five, you know, they have losses to Notre Dame, Oklahoma, SMU, Houston, and Temple. No horrible losses, but you got to remember that Marcus McDuffie, the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year last year, came back and just started Started playing at the beginning of January. They now have him worked into the lineup. This line we have probably Cincinnati about minus six or seven. And Brian, what do you make of it? Yeah, these are two teams that we were just talking a little bit before we did the video on futures market. I think these are two teams right now you can get some pretty good, uh, pretty good points on. Uh, Cincinnati is a team that every year seems once once they come into the tournament, everybody always thinks this is a team that's got a chance. I actually think Marco says they think they can go to the Final Four. I think they can do the same. And this Wichita State team, we've seen what they've done in the past. I think these are two teams that have not gotten a lot of press, even though Cincinnati right now is, is playing great ball. But I think these are two teams that uh, you can make some money on looking for the futures. But this game, I, I expected the line to be about seven here. Uh, I think Cincinnati is more of a well-rounded team at this point. But Wichita State seems to be, as the games get later in the season, they start to peak. Mm -hmm. And so uh, either one of these teams can win this game. But, but I, I think Cincinnati wins. Don't know if they get there with the seven. But. You know, again, a tough game to pick. It's such a marquee game, we wanted to talk about it. But since we are taping on Thursday, Wichita State is hosting Temple. And Cincinnati actually has a very brutal stretch. They were at SMU, who they beat last week, and now they're at Houston on Thursday. So with two unknowns, it makes it a little tougher, Marco. But you know what? Cincinnati's not playing their games at home. They're playing all their home games at Northern Kentucky this year uh, with the renovation of their home stadium. It hasn't hurt them so far. Will they continue their awesome run at home? Well, you know, this is a team that, you know, talk about Cincinnati. And even though they're ranked number five in the country, I don't think they're getting all of the respect that they should. It's because they play in this conference. This conference just doesn't get the respect. There's some good teams in this conference. I mean, obviously, Wichita State jumping from the Missouri Valley instantly made this conference better. But on the same token, Wichita State for all of those years was the big kahuna in the Missouri Valley. Now they're not. You know, this is Cincinnati's conference. And although they're not playing at their home uh, gym, it's not that far away, you know, just right across the border there in northern Kentucky. And they're playing well. They're the number one team in the country defensively. They're holding their opponents to 36% shooting. When you play lockdown defense like that, and then you're efficient offensively, they hit 46% of their shots. That's why they're the number one five team in the country. And I think because they do play good defense and they're a team that shoots the ball well, this is a team that can make a big run in the tournament. You know, you talk about teams that don't play good defense but shoots the lights out of the basketball. Well, then all of a sudden you run into that one game where you're, you're cold shooting and then you're in trouble. When you've got a shutdown defense, you can have that off night shooting and you're still going to be in the ball game. And that's why I think there's a lot of value on Cincinnati. And I'm going to go with them here. This is a big stage for them. Um, they're in action tonight. They have a very tough game tonight. And I am actually involved in that game tonight. Uh, going to Houston, not an easy place to play. And if they got one eye looking ahead to this big showdown with Wichita State, the newcomer in the conference that came in with all the fanfare, they got to be looking ahead to that game a little bit. So I would not be surprised if they stubbed their toe tonight at Houston, and that might get us a little bit of line value on Saturday with them. But I have it, like Brian said, my power ratings have Cincinnati at seven. Um, I like them at seven or less. If it's over seven, I won't get involved. But seven or less, I like Cincinnati here. I'll lay the points. You know, I, I think one, one thing with both of these teams, you know, I talked about this with Wichita State numerous times. They are traveling to all these venues for the first time this year, where the teams that are prepping for them 
only have to prep for this one new team in the conference. So I expected Wichita State to have their losses. The season is almost played out. And likewise, with Cincinnati playing all their road games, Northern Kentucky, that certainly helps them when they go to March Madness to preparing for those neutral games without having that normal home edge that teams are accustomed to. And just to throw one more thing in there, this is the time of the year where you talk about statement games. This is a statement game for Cincinnati to beat a Wichita State that's had all of that success in the tournaments over the last several years. They're making their statement for why they deserve a number one seed. I, I like Cincinnati here. Marco's taking Cincinnati minus the points on Saturday. And folks, you guys know by now, every Tuesday, hottest handicapper, entire best bet, two bucks. That's right, $2 Tuesday. Each and every Tuesday, wagertalk.com. Like us on videos. Make sure you tell your friends. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us this week.